Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller, your host. Today I brought a topic which is actually evergreen. Uh, how to verify identity, set up bounces in Amazon SES. I went through all the details, maybe a little bit too fast, so feel free to rewatch the video if something is not clear for you. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to this channel or come to my website, joeykeller.com. There's a bunch of information about Modic. Let's dig in. I'm going to show you how to create uh, verified identities in uh, Amazon SES and how to tie them up uh, in a simple notification service to make sure your bounces are registered. Uh, we're going to do a domain and also we're going to do a uh, email level verification. So let's start with uh, the easier one, the email level verification. So let's see what verified identities I have. So I have here this one and this one. Okay, let's, uh, let's add the new one and we're going to do first an email address. So that's a single email address, not a whole domain. And that means if I want to use this, I can only use this and no other email, which is not verified, uh, with my Amazon account. So let's use one. I'm going to call this me at uh, joykeller.com. Oops. We don't need any tags. And that's it. Basically now an email is sent to my email address, uh, meandjoykeller.com, and it will have a link inside. When I click on that link, then this identity will be verified. So let's head to our email provider and see if, if I got that email. And I got the email. It looks like this, dear Amazon customer, blah, blah, blah. So only I have to do is click on this one. So this will bring me to the success page. Congratulations. From now on, I can use this email address. So let's head back here and refresh the page and see what we got. You see, it is verified. So I know it because it's here that it's verified. So all we need to do is now to make sure that the feedback loop is coming back here, which means if there is any problems with this, uh, with emails we are sending out, for example, bounces and complaints, that is registered with Modic. But before I show that to you, I would like to show you also the domain level verification. So let's go back to our um, account dashboard and I'm going to add another verified identity here. So let's verify another domain I've got. Let's verify joeykeller.com. I won't do the actual verification, but I show you how it's done. So domain joeykeller.com. And here you can click on easy DKIM. Let's do this more strict one and create identity. Okay, verification is pending. In order to verify, I have to put in this information into my DNS. You can also download it. So let's head back to Cloudflare and add, add all this information there. Okay, I'm back in Cloudflare. I have a lot of uh, different settings, but I'm just gonna show you one of them, uh, how to copy here. So we have here this, this is the name and the type is a C name. So let's do a new C name. So I'm going to do CNAME and I just copy it here. So the name itself is this. Now, the good thing is that you don't actually need to copy the whole thing. So you can just copy this part because all the rest refers to your website. And this one here, you have to copy everything like this. I usually turn off the proxy here because it can lead to confusions and then save. And once you save it, save all three, once it's done, um, Amazon runs a test periodically. So it will be able to verify your domain in no time. Uh, there are two more settings which we should uh, set up. And one of them is called SPF and the other one is DMARC. Let me show you how those are done. So if you want to do um, an SPF and you don't have anything else, but let's say you have Google, then you would use this. But if you don't have anything else, you would just uh, include this one in your in your um, domain. So in my case, in my DNS, it would look like for, as follows. So that would be a text record. So you go here for text. And the name is your website. So in my case, it's joeykeller.com. And here you go. And you are safe to send with Amazon SES. Your uh, sender policy framework is done. But if you would like to include something else, like for example, using Gmail, then you have to add it. So you just add one more include. You see, you can add more includes here. Everywhere where you send email from, you should make sure that you're adding includes. But for Amazon SES, 
it's just this much. There's an article on my website where I'm showing this uh, connected to this video. You can see it in the in the in the notes, and I'm actually showing this there as well. This code. Okay, let's do the DMARC as well. That's also pretty easy. So with DMARC, it's it's giving you feedback on if your settings are failing or not. So basically, you know if someone else is mailing uh, in your name. There is this setting, which is the lazy setting. So if you add this, it will be also in the show notes, uh, the link to this uh, information. Um, then uh, then you just don't care what if the DMARC fails or not. So if you want to know what how your settings are performing, then you should definitely look into DMARCs. But since DMARC is needed to avoid deliverability problems, you can do the lazy DMARC. So you just add this and you're going to be fine. Okay, so all your settings are fine. Let's say you already added this tree. Uh, you have your DMARC, you have your SPF. Okay, great. So now we have the email verified, but we would like to send from this email address as well. In order to do that, we have to create a new user and that has changed in 2023. So we're gonna head to AIM. And here we're gonna create a new um, user. So I have a bunch of here, but let's do a new one. So this is gonna be Joey Keller test for me. Next, we're gonna use policies which already exist. So here we're looking for SESF, enter this, click, delete, SESN, that's for, the, I'm sorry, SNSF. That's for the uh, notification, so the feedback loop, delete. So now these two are um, attached. We go to next. Come on, man. Okay, so we don't need anything here. We're gonna create the user. Okay, I have another bunch of users, doesn't matter. And here in this Joey Keller test, we need one more step. We need to create security credentials. And this part is different. And we would like to do the access keys. So we click on this and we're going to do application uh, third party service. I understand. Next. And you can create the access key. And here's your access key. So you have to copy this and this. And this is what you have to add in uh, the Amazon SES uh, information in your modding these two and save it because you won't see this ever again. Let's quickly set up those uh, credentials. So we come into configuration and here we go to email settings. In the email settings, make sure you have the right send from email. So this should be a verified entity, otherwise it won't work. Then you choose SES API. There is also SMTP, make sure you're choosing API. This is your region that's visible in your uh, Amazon console on the right upper corner. So it should also match. And then you are adding your username and password. These are the two credentials we just downloaded a couple minutes ago. Let's go further. Next topic, SNS, how the information coming back that, you know, there are bounces. That's really easy. We're going to go to simple notification service. Let's create the topic. We're gonna go for standard, and this is gonna be Joy Keller test, like this. And we don't need anything else here, just create topic. And this topic is to collect everything, uh, for example, collect all the bounces or collect all the complaints. And a subscription here, create subscription, we can tell where is this information going. So this is an HTTPS, and this is HTTPS, this is my modix root, modix.com slash, uh, we have a mailer, mailer, Amazon API slash callback. Very important. By the time you're here, you have to make sure that you chose in modix, you know, your uh, mailer, uh, Amazon SES, right? Uh, it has to be the right uh, region that's super important and you filled out your credentials what we created in a previous step otherwise this is not gonna work 
so you will be not verified so create subscription you see it's pending right now but if we did everything right it's already confirmed so you can see that everything goes to the right place good but we still have to uh, set this up so this is now just here but we actually didn't connect it with our email address so now we're heading back to email service check our verified identity we want to sure uh, send from this one make sure it's the same with the domain you have to send these if you turn this off then you will not get a forward the notifications that hey there is a problem with an email you sent so I usually turn this off if I have this on so we're gonna send balances here this and also gonna send this here save and the feedback loop is perfect so if I'm sending out from this email address then the the, the bounce information if there is any we land in the right place that's it you are done thanks for watching if you want to learn more just subscribe on my website or on this channel keep automating